Okay, so today is Big day. well, it's because it's 420. Happy 420 to those of you who celebrate. No judgment on our end. Um, but that is not why me and my husband are celebrating. Um, today is a huge day, a possible victory, and I'm extremely like nervous. I got the butterflies in my tummy. How about you, Justin? How are you yeah, feeling very, right now? Very, very excited. So, sorry, it's, we're in the truck, um, and I'm not gonna lie, it's, <sighs> I bought a new tripod, and it's a lot better than my old one, but I got, I got them shaky, shaky arm syndrome going on. So, T-Rex arms too. Yeah, shush, shush your mouth. Shush, boy. Shush your lips. I better not sing the next line because I don't think that would be okay anymore. Um, you guys know that song. But anyways, so today is, now I know we haven't like posted in a, while. a long time. I've been wanting to, I've been meaning to. Um, you know, life gets in its way. And to be honest with you guys, I was grieving. And that's because we had did a transfer and I was a month, four days pregnant when um, our doctor finally called it a chemical pregnancy miscarriage. And um, because we did PGS testing or PGT or whatever it's called that where they um, I thought that was a dog. I'm seeing stuff. That was not a dog. Um, because we did like the PGS testing, we knew the sex of our embryo, and because there was a possibility that I was a carrier for hemophilia, even though I've done literally like four or five of these blood tests and DNA tests to see if I am a carrier. Um, and that's basically where hemophilia factor eight is what my family has been known to um, pass on to sons. Only women, it's a recessive um, gene. Oh, whoops, I just bumped my camera. Basically, um, women can pass this gene to their sons, like their offspring, and um, they don't, your, your blood doesn't clot and because you are missing what is called factor eight. You could also be hemophiliac and miss uh, be missing nine, 12 um, factors. But for whatever reason, I have done this hemophilia recessive gene DNA test like four or five times, whether a lab lost my results or they tested me for nine and 12 instead of the factor eight. Um, it's just been like a crazy, almost like year and a half um, worth of testing just for that. So my doctor would not transfer a male embryo because he wanted to know if I was a carrier for hemophilia factor eight, which by the way, if I was a carrier for it, there had only been a 50-50 chance that a male son would have even had, um, would have had even gotten that gene um, and had that disorder, the bleeding disorder. Um, it's not an intellectual disability. It, a person who has a bleeding clot disorder can live a long, healthy life. There's a lot more tools and resources now than there was when, like, if you guys know the famous Anastasia, you know, from Russia. And so you guys have seen the Fox, which I think is now now technically owned by Disney movie, you know, Princess Anastasia. Um, her her brother Nikolai um, had the same the same um, yeah. Is can you call it disease or just gene, know, ge genetic, genetic disorder? Genetic, yeah, um, genetic disorder. Yeah, sure, we'll just right. call it that. So we didn't have that at the time. I had no idea. So we transferred a female embryo. Um, at that time, we had three female embryos, and um, 
uh, what was it, five? Wait, no, four. I think we had five boys, two girls, right? No, no, wait, at the time we had three oh. girls, seven minus three, seven, six, five, four, three. Wait a minute. Seven. Three girls, four boys? Yes. Okay, so I was right at the time. Sorry, guys, and I'm a math teacher, that's embarrassing. So we had four boys that were perfectly genetically tested and three girls. Yeah, I don't know, for some reason I felt like I had way more, but the number was seven. And we technically have one more boy, but his results came out inconclusive. So, you know, so take it as you will. So we transferred this girl who was PGS tested and, you know, I did everything right, you know, got off all my medications such as like Adderall, um, the Clodipin. You were um, consuming caffeine? No caffeine, zero, not drinking pop, no coffee, only water, eating. Like I have a problem, like, honk at him. He's being a, oh my gosh, what the? Like, see, that's why I always get in the lane that has no cars. I'm a much more aggressive driver than my handsome husband. I am like the, like if there's, like if you're in a turn lane and there's no cars on the one lane and there's cars in the other, I will go to the turn lane that has no cars and Justin like, do do do. I'm being so mean to you. I'm driving a truck, so I thought being the outside of the water. Yeah, well, um, I don't care if I'm driving a minibus or a bus, a huge bus, I'm still aggressive. We caught up anyway. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It's just that the guy didn't move when it was green. It drives me nuts. Like, guys, I'm seriously, this is maybe why. Anyways, moving on. Calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. <laughs> At least I didn't swear like I normally would. You mother! I don't know. I know. We've all been there. We've all been terrible drivers at one point or another, right? Those of us who drive. Anyway, um, so we lost that baby, and I was kind of just. I think we both were floored. If I can speak for both of us, just because like one. I'm under the age of 30 and I don't have um, like endometriosis or anything with, uh, there's nothing like, sorry if it's like crazy, this uh, truck is a little loud and we're driving and we're doing the best we can. And we're on our way to get our second transfer. So, you know, there's nothing like a red flags on my end. Even my thyroid levels were fine. Everything is fine. Um, and we did the PGS testing. And so then when it didn't work, it's like, I don't I'm under- not, you know, it's like, you know, shocking. Yeah, it, absolutely shocking. Like how, how, like we went the extra mile to make sure that these were gonna be perfect. And it turns out, um, because we actually consulted with another doctor, um, because I was so like, uh, yeah, devastator, hurt, angry. And our doctors have the best bedside manner either. Yeah, our doctor he is like, rude. He's like, didn't work, let's do it again. Yeah, he. our doctor is very, like, to the point, like, you see all these, like, YouTube videos where people are going through an IVF journey and they get a phone call saying, hi, congratulations, or hey, blah, 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 sorry to tell you. No, I get a portal message that says, can it, um, you're, 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 you got a positive pregnancy test, but it's a, what did Low it positive. say? Low positive. On like Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. I'm not in the industry of, um, baby making, so to speak. What the hell does that mean? Low positive. What? So then it's like, I ask on the portal, and like someone, need, and then I try calling, like, you know, and no one answers, of I course. Try calling. My husband tries calling, like he just said. No one answers. And then finally, I'm like, someone needs to call me, like, right now, or I am going to have a major panic attack, and it's not gonna be good. Um, 
I know, dramatic, right? But no, it's like my baby, and I'm like, am I well, losing I think, I think it? I or received a message saying like, please, because we got your message, we'll call your wife. Please do not uh, send us a text message and a phone voicemail. I want to deflect the camera off, but I guess the whole like, remember Jack Black in the movie, uh, what is it, where he's like a substitute? I can't tell us of rock, school of rock, and he goes read between the lines. That's how I feel. And so then the nurse calls and she was nice and but she was like just don't be surprised if you get your period over the weekend now had i not bugged the crap out of them and i had gotten my period and i i probably would have ended up in the emergency room thinking my baby is dying or someone help me right like i just think you need to be thorough and you need to have better bedside man anyway so that that was kind of like our situation and so our doctor who refuses to put two embryos in which I totally understand like I understand the risk of multiples I understand that a the goal of a reproductive endocrinologist is to have a healthy pregnancy with a baby they're not here to like give you you know k plus eight right by the way um something that the other doctor told my husband and i that i i didn't know before and i, I was totally shocked was for every three perfect embryos including pgs testing that will they statistically think it will equal one healthy birth. birth. It doesn't make me mad or anything. It's just like, you know, they always say, well, it only takes just one. Well, actually, if we're going by statistics, and yes, every single person in the world has a different situation. Like my one friend is like 37 ish I want to say over 37 did not PGS test did a fresh embryo transfer which is supposed to be like not as um, effective as like a frozen got pregnant on her first try had no issues no complications absolutely went fine well other people who you know you would think wouldn't have any issues can't like it, you know so it's just a statistic is that you, know, you take it at face value but it's still like I wish I would have known for every three perfect ones will equal one live birth at the end like I'm a very not that I could you know count seven you know four plus three equals seven a few minutes ago um, I am a very logical numbers person like estimates are my friends I understand like and I'm not gonna hold an estimate like against you because that's what it is it's an estimate it's an educated guess it's a right so i'm ranting and i think it's because i'm nervous but anyway so i i talked to we, we both talked to this other doctor and i had told justin i was really really let's just say i was just having a i was just raging and i had told him i'm like this doctor He's either going to put two embryos in next time or we're going somewhere else. I don't even care. I was so mad, you know, we lost this baby. It's like, and that's the thing, like other people look at an embryo and go, it's just an embryo. It's not anything like, you know, it's not a person, whatever. Everyone has a different belief system, but like when you want something really, really bad and you've been working, like we've been trying to have a baby since 2017. It's 2021. We want it. It's like I would kill for it. I, I would do anything. I would, you know. And then you, you're so close to having it, and it just gets like snatched, right? So <laughs> we had a meeting with the doc. Oh, and by the way, so after our failed pregnancy, um, I went, mean, yeah transfer pregnancy whatever the doctor of course every time like it seems like Justin and I need to have a talk with him just to like see what was going on like what could have went wrong he's on vacation 
for like a week. Which is weird for a guy who keeps talking about like how paranoid about COVID he is. Yeah. He goes on vacation like every Goes on vacation. Paranoid about my husband can't be in the transfer yeah. room while I'm transferring an embryo, but yeah, you're a good point. I yes. think he only goes to work, like, right? He, he's on a week off a week or something. I have like no this. idea what he does. I don't remember. I'm not that. Ugh. I'm not that. I was picking my water. I was not. I'm not that like. But so, anyways, I I was like annoyed, and um, we had a Zoom meeting, and he was like 35 minutes late. God forbid, I'm five minutes late to the office. You know, then it's like. We don't hear the end of it, um, but he's like 35 minutes late, and I must have just had the you know resting, uh, you know, Savannah face. Yeah, resting Savannah face, resting. You know what I mean? Like I came into it, but I just look mean to begin with, and then when I'm then when I am mad, it's like just amped up all that much, and I'm like, you have two choices. You know, you either can transfer two embryos or I'm going somewhere else. You decide. And he's like, and then he goes, well, I know what will happen. You'll end up getting pregnant with twins. And you know, at the end of the day, I get to go home and I don't have to like deal with- Worry about the high risk pregnancy. Yeah, worry about the high risk pregnancy. And what if it's triplets? Then, you know, I go home and live my normal life. And I said, and that's your life, and that's totally fine. And I said, but to be honest with you, this is what I want, I'm a customer at the end of the day. I will sign any paperwork you want. In fact, Justin's a lawyer, I'll have him type something up, whatever you want, sign it off. You don't worry about it at the end of the day, and then it becomes my problem, I'll take it, I can handle it. And I know that might sound ignorant, like I know, I know it might sound ignorant now, but I was just like, you know, I was, I was heated, I was livid, I was just living in the moment. And he goes, let me talk to the team. I'll get back to you tomorrow about transferring too. Well, tomorrow comes and he goes, I'll do it. So we are putting in two embryos. I am, this is like such a life changing, it could be a very much a life changing. See, I'd get in that lane. You see what I'm saying? Like no one's in that lane. This truck takes a little while to speed up, we'll see. Well, uh-huh, uh -huh. and now you just got in front of all of them. Someday he'll learn, you guys, someday he'll learn. He'll learn how to drive like Savannah. He'll learn how to drive like me. I say Justin drives at the speed of the Matrix. Do you agree, baby, there? Yep, I drive like an award-winning movie. at what we're transferring um, it's going to be a surprise for everybody I guess <laughs> and it's kind of nice uh, hemophilia test. We can put yeah so yeah I got my hemophilia test back turns out I don't I'm not a carrier so now it's like I can put in two boys two girls I can put in whatever I don't care give me give me an, give me all the babies I made you know and so that's what we're doing and um, it's gonna be a surprise we don't know um, I'm just I'm praying to God sorry um, that it works I am baby and people who you know say stuff like you know you can always just adopt you can always do other options here's the thing I want to this might come across as selfish I don't care it's my truth I want to feel what it's like to be pregnant I want to feel the kicks inside my tummy I want to see what a combination of me and my husband would look like and grow up to be 
I'm not against adopting and that's definitely something we have always considered doing even fostering. like fostering in, or even having biological but this is just something that like if you want to just drop me off at the door because you can't go oh, in wrap around because we're in a big truck um just say run over, run all the other cars over um but yeah so um that's that so i'm gonna go <sighs> i didn't even finish my water hold on you want to say anything no it's just uh it's been a long long journey and i'm gonna be sitting in the car praying for savannah the whole time wish her the best of lucks and i'm gonna be um facetiming you or whatever yeah um play my she's got her superhero mask Taking off sunglasses. I don't need them in the hot inside, and I don't want to be super late, so I just shut this off. Okay. Oh, 905 exactly. Okay. So let me. Where's my phone? Oh my gosh! I lost my. Oh, I just. I literally just, just had it in my hand, and I lost it. And I just want. Okay. I'm just paranoid. Like, does anyone else get like that? Like, do I have everything? Do I not? Did I bring my AirPod case? I think yes, I did. Okay. I'm going. I'm leaving. Um. Hold on, though. I want to give you a kissy. That was a terrible kiss. Dude, you, you We're making a baby. Or I'm making a baby. I made a baby. My part. Uh-huh. You did a great job. Kind of, not really. Actually, yeah. you're not, I mean, you could have done better. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I just fell out of the truck. All right, bye. So. I'm going in. And it sucks that Justin can't be with me, so it is what it is. This elevator is so slow. Because of hitting the button twice, will I go faster? In fact, I think it just it goes slower on purpose. <sighs> Well, I'll be back.